Everybody, how you doing? CD59 here, Gun Go Saw. Do something a little bit different than I normally do. I haven't done a knife for a long, long time. Uh, where I'm coming from, I've done a lot of knives. I buy the blades, uh, mostly always high carbon steel, not stainless. Uh, you can dip them in acid, you can do different things with them, uh, put some good looking wood on them. You got a good kitchen knife. Uh, what I'm doing here, that guy right there, a buddy of mine makes these made this one for me i give him the uh bacote and he scaled her up but he cuts these out and last time he ordered material i had him order that guy right there 1084 carbon i'm going to give it a shot at trying this stuff the difference the way he does it he has a bandsaw to cut out the general shape i don't he has regular sanders made for cut your grind I don't. <laughs> I'm going to do it by hand. It's going to be a lot of labor, I do believe. Then we're going to take that. What I did here, the two knives that are always in my backpack when I go deer hunting. I said I think it was four and five years ago, those two knives right there, skin, quarter, a couple of elk. You don't have to have a big old big old. That's basically what I use for my template. I'm going to have a little more belly. Just a little bit more length. That's going to be, hopefully, when I'm done. Uh, I don't even have a vise outside. I'm going to clamp this thing down to a cheap little temporary 2x4 uh, saw horse. We're going to take the old DeWalt, the diamond, and we're going to see how this handles what's, uh, what's going to happen. Let's go do it. I'd say that little bit went a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. Not going to be as bad as I thought. Right through the leather glove. That's hot right through the glove. That baby is warm. I didn't pay attention to my time. <laughs> I don't have 15 minutes into going from a flat piece of steel. Now I'm going to take a file and I'm going to get the shape that I want, get rid of all this rough crap. It's going to be a nice smooth like this, and I'm going to have to figure out how to do my grind. Back to the vise in the basement. Now it's file work. I can take a grinder to it. Maybe I'll put a different wheel on. That's what I'm going to do. All right, I got a standard old grinding wheel on. This is going to save me a ton of work in the basement with the files. Thank God for electricity, huh?
I have the equipment. I think I'm going to call that enough. That's good. Now it's going to be all... Well, that's going to be nice. <laughs> going to like it. We're going to call it hand filing from here on out. Hand tools, I do believe. Maybe a sander once in a while, but a lot of file work. All right, I've been filing on this thing, believe it or not, maybe 15 minutes, and I've already got it cleaned up. Very, very coarse half round mill bastard i believe that's called very coarse to take up all the rough stock we are oh so close for roughing it up this is rough we're not getting into the final finish by any stretch I've had this piece of steel, I bet, for six, seven months. I'm like, man, no way, no way, no way. It's going to take me forever and a day. It's uh, a too big a project. That's in the case, put it back. A diamond, just a steel blade, diamond, etched, coated, whatever you call that. There you go. It took me less than 30 minutes to cut this out, probably 20 minutes to cut it out of that blank with that thing. And I've been filing here for less than 20. And I'm down to the part that's going to be the biggest short. Getting that bevel, this bevel, to line up dead center down the middle. And putting scales on it, wood, that's child's play. We'll do some etching on it, maybe a design, put my maker mark on there, my tattoo, like uh, maybe you've seen me do some of that before. Right here I got in a little too deep, if you can see that. I'm just going to take a round, and you see that sometimes in knives right in front of the wood, they'll have a round radius cut in there. Then you start the uh, sharp. Not an issue. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up making the, that much of this knife so far. And uh, the next one, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I hate to think I'm going to do it all by hand, but we're going to look around and do some uh, asking. We shall continue. Thanks a lot for coming along.